once you have paid for the goods and you are pretty sure this is not you are pretty sure your goods are coming because you know sometimes you can be in that position and then it is your bad day and then you meet this big scammer right start your online shop and you probably you are trying to figure out things here and there and you're trying to think uh, what is going to work for you and actually as much as you know how you can set up your own online shop you are thinking about uh, having some unique product in a specific area but the question that comes here it is the at the midst of of covid and we have so many travel restriction and you know traveling right now is quite expensive and you are wondering how can you how can you source your goods uh, from another country to your own country and probably you are having uh, that fear you know the fear that uh, you know when you're sourcing goods uh, from another country or in the online platform the high chances of you getting scammed worry no more so I got you and I'm going to take you through how you can do this. I'm going to give you tips on how you can source uh, mm -hmm. your product online and give you the tips on how you can source your product online through the various platforms like Alibaba, AliExpress, Pinduoduo 1688 and other platforms depending on which country you are sourcing your goods. So it's nothing to worry about because I got you. So hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Monica to the new subscribers and if you, you guys you haven't yet subscribed to my channel make sure you do subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and leave the notification bell on. So guys today you're gonna excuse me because my voice is not yet, uh, it hasn't yet come back to its normal. I don't know why it has been about two months but still we still continue. I think I've got this cold that is not disappearing at all but we are okay. So this is the thing. Someone asked me, can they or would I recommend them to source goods from these online platforms like the Alibaba and then start an online shop instead of having a physical shop? And this is my take. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. But even before you go there, before even you start doing that, that there's some few things that you need to consider. There are some few things that you need to know. Yes, because you cannot just venture into any kind of business without having, you know, that are research and sometimes getting a tip and an advice here and there. So guys, let's get into the video. One of the thing and, and which is number one that you need to know before you start this kind of a thing, you need to identify the kind of product that you want to sell. And you know, the kind of product that you want to sell, it is determined uh, with the kind of society and your target audience uh, that you are having because that is what determines. And then after you identify this product, again, it comes along with the capital, the kind of money that you'll need because of course different products have different costs. Some have low cost, others have got high cost then after that you need to, to to decide because now you have identified you want this product which country do you want sort of product from is it from the usa is it from the uk is it from canada is it from china is it from dubai or whatever country you want to source your product from right and once you identify the country where you want to get your product from it's good for you to do the research and then identify reliable suppliers and when it comes to suppliers, guys, I've said it's tricky sometimes, but you've got to trust yourself. Yes, you can do it. If I did it, you can also do it. So you've got to do enough research by identifying your suppliers. And as I always say, once you meet a supplier in these online platforms, it is always good for you to start small because number one, you don't know these people right and you you have not yet developed that trust because in business sometimes it is all about trust and you trust this person is going to give you the quality and the kind of product that you expect so you need to develop um that trust and you are going to do this by starting small and if you, if you got if you get referrals then it acts it's good because it's going to be fast you don't need to develop any trust but anyway if it's a new supplier please please mm-hmm start small yes don't invest a lot you better do it slow 
but sure then once you decide that you've got this supplier before even you engage the supplier and decide that you want to buy from them it is good for you to analyze and understand the kind of risk that come with this kind of business the kind of challenges that you are going to face and then it's good also for you to know how are you going to handle these challenges because for example you might for example when we talk about like china there are some few challenges that are there for example we've got the, the issue of language barrier because it is not uh, every time that you meet a chinese supplier who can fluently speak in, in english or whatever language that you speak in and you know um if you're having language barriers then there is a there is the challenge that the kind of commodities uh, that you are going to ask for you are not going to receive because of miscommunication again we've got scammers it doesn't mean that we do not have scammers the scammers are still there and it's something that you need to think of the, the kind of risk that you are putting into get uh, get to someone who can you know who can help you understand how are you going to overcome these challenges because fact be told in every business in everything in every operation there is always a challenge of a kind but there is always a way to overcome that challenge so go for it then once you've got your supplier it is good for you to know how are you going to ship your goods uh, and you also so in this case you need to identify a shipping agent and it is through the shipping agent that you are able to decide um, which method is more convenient for you are you going to ship your goods by air are you going to ship your goods by sea right yeah and also understand their charges so these are the costs that comes along with shipping understand the taxes depending on which country uh, which country which country you are shipping your goods to you need to understand the taxes and other requirement and what should be shipped actually before I forget this what should should be shipped and what shouldn't because I believe every country it has its own regulation when it comes to shipping commodities if at all we have said you are planning on starting an online shop right do you know what you need to do once you have paid for the goods and you are pretty sure this is not you are pretty sure your goods are coming because you know sometimes you can be in that position and then it is your bad day and then you meet this big scammer right and uh, this is to say that your goods might not arrive and maybe probably they will arrive and they're not going to come in a good state this one would highly advise someone who have shipped severally and you have this kind of a trustworthy supplier you know they can't fail you and so this being the case let the supplier send you the pictures market market your commodities even before they arrive let people understand that these commodities will be arriving soon maybe in two weeks time or whatever so that by the time the goods are arriving trust you me uh, let's say about maybe half of the product should be fully booked so that once the goods arrive you are able to make the next order very fast but this one i would advise not for the first time maybe at the third time or the fourth time because during this time you have understand the, the supplier and you know they are this is a reliable supplier or else if you get referrals and uh, you know when you get uh, referrals it means that this supplier is a good one so you trust them and you are sure you're not going to fail your clients because you are going to be establishing um kind of what can i say you are going to be uh, you're going to be establishing your what your audience or something yes and so you don't want to to lose their trust on the first day so if it is your first time please please <laughs> don't don't advertise now wait until the product arrive and you're sure the quality and you're sure the, the features that you wanted the other one there so by then you can market your goods and finally guys as i always say in this business always always start small and why do i always say it's good for you to start small you know when you start small you tend to understand your customers needs and you're able to fulfill them again this is during this time it's when you try to you know to gain some kind of trust with your supplier and you know you trust each other which means that uh, you trust the supplier whatever commodity you ask them they are going to bring it and send it on time and no frustration which means together you grow as you grow your customer base so guys i wish you all the best in your online business and if you've got any question you can leave it in the comment section and guys please don't forget to subscribe to our channel give it a thumbs up 
so that our videos can get more suggestion and bye bye zai chen